This one's called Cash for Gold. If you guys want early access, Discord, and a chance to win some giveaways, link in the description below. But let's get into this. Let's go. Looming Sunset. Well, Dad, it was really great oh. seeing you. We'd love to stay for dinner, but the food here gives Sharon diarrhea. What? Randy? <laughs> hold on, hold That's on. That's a lie, Just probably, a right? I got a present from my grandson. Oh, Come nice. here, Billy. Grown up, Billy. <laughs> he said Billy. It's time for you to have something expensive and flashy to impress all the ladies. Oh, look at that. A bolo tie. Okay. 14 karat gold with turquoise and real diamonds. Damn. Uh, how much did you spend on that? $6,000. 6000 The jewels and gems shop. That's for his grandson. So, Dad, you shouldn't be spending your retirement money on frivolous things. You should be saving it for when you die. That's our money. It's gorgeous, Dad. Thank you. Oh, and tomorrow's picture day at school. Stan can wear it for his photos. <laughs> I don't think he wants to. That'll make me feel really good. Who's Stan? Oh, oh yeah, he calls him Billy, isn't it? Good lord. He's actually gonna wear it? Why don't you just put it in your pocket and then put it out for the picture? Nice bolo tie, Stan. Unless if he likes Thanks. it. Thanks. Really in right now. It's cool you have one. Aren't they usually for cowboys? My grandpa, okay? And it costs a lot of money. That was six grand? Yeah. <laughs> it's a recreation of the bolo tie worn by King Henry V. Damn. Oh, recreation, okay. It's fucking gay as fuck. Ish. I know. Why don't you take it to one of those pawn places? I wonder how much they get for it, though. Surely they're gonna get ripped off, innit? Steal this, did you? These, these places yeah, usually play games. Me as a present. It's 14 karat gold, diamond, and turquoise. I'll give you $15. I thought so. Look, this happens in real life. Not to that extent, yeah, but. $6,000. Those are real diamonds on the outside. <laughs> yeah, I can't really make anything on the diamonds. Dude, this guy's trying to rook us. We can go someplace else. Yeah, take yeah, about. Taking advantage of. You may suck our collective bars, sir. It's like when you hand in a big bunch of video games and they underquote you big time as well. Yeah, here's one. Okay. Eight dollars. Eight dollars? This is the same bolo tie worn by King Henry V. It was a replica. Nine dollars. No? In a taco Welcome bell. Welcome to Taco Bell. Would you like to try our Doritos Locos Tacos? I want to see how much you'll give me for this golden turquoise diamond bolo. I guess I can give you a six-layer burrito for it. Six a six-layer burrito? All right, a seven-layer burrito. But that's as high as I'm going. So did the granddad get ripped off then, maybe? And it's not actually worth six My grand. My paid $6,000 for something barely worth anything. How does something like this happen? Okay, folks, we are... I was wondering what that you was. You want to get in on these deals, call now. Next item is <laughs> the mannerisms. This is item number four five seven eight one one one. Fourteen karat gold, eighty six karat faux sapphire. These earrings normally go for six million dollars. Six mil. We sell these today for three hundred twenty dollars. That's a steal. Okay, Stan's granddad got ripped off from one of these TV network shows. Yep, let's get her on the line. Hello, Vivian. Vivian, you just got a heck of a deal. What's your last name, sweetheart? I can't remember. Oh. Can't remember. Well, can you remember your credit card number? Oh, come on. Three, seven, one, five. Hold on. Bro, bro. We'll get you on with a rep. Take down that number. Congratulations on the lovely 14 karat faux sapphire earrings. You practically stole them from us. Ouch. Okay, Dude, that's off. terrible. But how did they get away with that? <laughs> A new era of science that only the smartest can comprehend. The old people are getting finessed, yeah. Tried to come up with the formula to make gold. That's the chemical equation for gold? That's right. Guys with cash for gold science gets you people's unwanted crappy jewelry divided by demented old people equals gold. <laughs> Kenny, will you tell Cartman to shut up? Fuck a fuck up, dude. You're a fuck up, fool. Doing that. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? Buying this as a gift, sir? No, I'm buying it as a gift. That's Stan's granddad. Billy. Oh no, he's getting ripped. Bro's getting ripped off. Oh my god, my eyes. We're letting this one go for $14.95 easy pay. We call it that to save you time. Easy. How much was it before? Of easy. I just got word we are dropping the Z from easy pay. It's <laughs> now just e pay. Instead of taking all that time to say easy pay. We're saving you a second of time, and those seconds add up. Say ePay 5,000 times. That's 5,000 seconds, nine hours, 
We just saved you here on J. Five thousand. Grandpa. Do you see that, Billy? Don't you think your sister would like that? She doesn't like jewelry, Grandpa. He has good intentions, well, at least. One day, she'll appreciate it. Billy, did I ever tell you I used to have a border collie named Patches? Yes, Grandpa. I loved that dog. She always made me so happy. I can't remember what she looked like, Billy. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'm gonna take care of this. Nice. Okay, so Graham says good intentions. I didn't doubt that he did in the first place, but it just showed okay. us there. But your mom had some old jewelry. Because he wants to buy something for uh, Shelly. <laughs> oh my god. Butters, what the fuck? Sorry, my arm's hurt. My arm's hurt. Pick the fucking sign up, Butters. This is a business. Hey, how much will you give me for this? Oh, uh, three bucks. Okay. Is it worth more? Did you, did you even check? All we need are some old people. Oh my god, is he gonna start selling? And that's it, we've just- I thought for a second he was gonna start selling. To Miss Marsha Tubbs. You just got yourself a heck of a deal on this one. Three grand. You there, Marsha? I'm lost. Oh my I'm lost walking on the freeway. That's not even funny. You're lost walking on a freeway. Enjoy the Tiger's Eye Aquamarine bracelet. Hello, sir, you must be a fan of Panzo to Panzanite. Yeah, hi. Um, you should kill yourself. Oh. What's that? Oh. You should kill yourself? I just read that the day shopping networks make most of their money is on the day seniors pick up social security checks. Ooh. Some host of a jewelry channel sure might up and do it, and then you'd feel really bad. No, I wouldn't. Is he foreshadowing? Yes, you would. No, because I really want you to kill yourself. <laughs> All right, well, how about this? I don't care what happens to me. I care about my grandfather, you morally empty, corrupted maggot. Damn, he's getting cooked. Stan is a verbalist. I've said this before, man. Down to 2939. And it doesn't matter what price you put on anything. Your only chance to right the wrongs you've done is to kill yourself. Jeez, dude. That's not a joke. He's not trying to be I'm funny. Not joking. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Okay, next item. Oh, I thought as much. Eric, man. This is 200 carat Brazilian emerald and plasticine ring. Does it look like that? Ring at um, let's see. Eight billion dollars. Eight billion? Eight dollars opening bid. We're gonna drop that price to seventy-five dollars ninety-five cents. Looks like a lollipop. Oh, we got a call already, Butters? Hello? Oh yeah, my you god. Just this lovely 200 carat ring. How do you feel, Mrs. <laughs> this is Mrs. Appleby. Can I ask you something, Mrs. Appleby? Do you like little boys? Oh. You just got an eight billion dollar ring for seventy-five ninety-five. You what kind of line is that? Appleby. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you. Saw me selling this ring and thought, mm, I'd like to f that kid. Dude, chill, bro. Come on. I thought it'd be a lovely gift for my granddaughter, Jessica. That's good acting. I should get an award. Yeah, you're pretty good, cop, man. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, mate. I'll give you that. Oh, I thought he actually had no award. I thought he just bought fake awards. You don't have someone in your life suffering from Alzheimer's. Well, I do. Look, kid. If you got a beef with the system, you're talking to the wrong people. All we do is smelter down what we get from the cash for gold places. Well, there's an old Hindu saying. Whoever smelt it... Dealt it. Yeah! Is that actually a Hindu saying? The Hindu saying is actually Mai Nahi Chahatapani. What does that mean? Whoever denied it supplied it. Sheesh. Old people are victimized by shopping networks, and you kick back in your fat cat mansion. They actually showed up. Millions. Oh, we come on, man. That much, fellas. Come on, man. You got it all wrong. The jewelry that those shopping networks sell don't even come from us. It's all made in India. Where those Hindu rhymes come from? My God, do you mean? That's right. Whoever made the rhyme did the crime. <laughs> come on, guys. Really? My We're doing this? Like I can't get enough of people's unwanted crappy jewelry to keep up, so I'd like to buy some of yours. Oh, you do so good business. You're so clever. <laughs> I get bad. Let's see. I wonder if that's Trey's voice or not doing that. Bracelets and emerald earrings. Oh, it's beautiful! Look, it's beautiful! How much are they gonna quote him? Come on. And uh, maybe I'll take that one for three hundred. Oh, that's. Oh, the, he already knows the prices. So you like a fucking Asian lady? You walk by my store and you say, "Oh, there's a nice Asian lady. I think I go in and I." Fuck her. That is Trey. Lady fucker, you. Wait a minute. How much do you pay for this stuff? Oh, he just realized he's getting ripped off. I'm not you, and you know it. No, no, you. Me. <laughs> you 
I think he realized that he's overpaying as soon as she started saying that he wants to F her in it. Oh my god, cop. What is, why do you do this, bro? You just traveled to a whole nother place. Oh, sorry, sorry. Country? Oh, in India. You see, I'm looking to cut out the middleman. I want to buy my jewelry direct from you so that you should be ashamed of the people in America that you are exploiting. Bro, fortunate. Somebody needs to pay. All I want is some goddamn retribution for my goddamn grandpa. Who's in charge of the kids? No, not a diamond and gold necklace. What's he doing? India to US. Oh, they go direct to the sh to the network. So it's the network then. <laughs> Two dollars. So this is the cycle, yeah. And it goes back to India. And they have the scraps. And then they build them again, right? It seems pretty accurate, I guess. Or how I would imagine it to be. I wonder if he would actually kill himself after what Stan did. Uh, Stan said. Because he was saying it like he might actually do it, so. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, yeah. So then we went to India, which is pretty cool, I guess. It was a picture. And we basically I think this is, um, united and rhymed it actually dealt it. The dog, I think. Sounds like you had a fun weekend. Yeah, I guess. It was a picture frame. I wanted to give you some. That would be nice from Stan. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I thought as much. There's that slobber and happy face. That's your cute dog. Thank you, Billy. How did the Indian kid get the picture? That, that bolo tie you're wearing? Yeah. It's fucking gay as fuck. Cool, I I won't wear it anymore. Really? <laughs> really, Granddad? Folks, these are not your average peridot crapanite earrings. These are 18 karat gold. What are you waiting for? Kill yourself. All right, God damn it! we got another comedian. Ever since that little kid called up, now everybody <laughs> wants to call and tell me I... Do it. Folks, oh my God, chill, gold. lady. Yes, hello, sir? You're too scared to do it, aren't you? You don't have the balls. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not scared to do it. <laughs> I'm calling about the Peridot earrings. Yes, ma'am. They'd look good on your dead body. Why oh. don't you kill yourself? I got a gun right here. What do you think about that? Put it against your temple and pull oh. the trigger. Lord, these old people are on smoke. Oh. Oh, just like that. Shit, dude. That end credit scene, well, of what we've seen earlier, makes me wonder what was Cartman and what is his resolution to the episode? I, did they end up getting a deal with India so they could sell for cheaper to make more money from old people? It seems like it just kind of fizzled out, I guess. But um, pretty good episode. I really actually enjoyed it, you know. Uh, just It goes to show that um, Stan's grandfather actually is quite caring. Because I think even with him losing his memory, he still had the, um, uh, the mind to consider getting things for his grandkids. So I think that's pretty nice. Even though he ended up calling uh, what the chain he got Stan gay at the end. So I guess... Just goes to show that his, uh, he's losing his memory, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, but good episode. Um, nice, wholesome ending. Well, besides the guy killing himself, I'm referring to Stan giving um, his granddad a frame of his old dog, not the dude killing himself. That was uh, crazy. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy and peace.